XDWC baby! It's that time of year again. Defrag World Championships in Zenotic 2023. Let's get going. So, what is Defrag? For those of you who don't know, Defrag is a race type game mode in many first person shooter games like Quake, Zenotic, Warsaw, stuff like that. Uh, it The aim is to complete the stage as fast as possible using a set of physics, sometimes rocket launchers, sometimes weird buggy movement like strafe running. Everything can be explained in a video linked down below. There's a couple of videos uh, to get you up to speed on how to run fast if you're a beginner. If not, and you already know a bit about defrag, let's get you specifically primed on how the Xenotic Defrag World Championship works. So, quite simply, every player can join at any time. Five, maybe six, unique and unreleased maps are going to be played, and your time will be converted into a number, a ranking, and a score for each map, depending on how well you did. Player with the highest score after all maps will be crowned as the winner. The rules are pretty simple. Each map will be played for one week. Please see the schedule, which we'll get on just a bit. Um, special servers, which will run 24-7. You don't need to register to take part, but you do have to play on the servers that are specifically set up for XDWC, which will be linked uh, in the forum post listed and on the website and in various places. You can't play offline unfortunately, so sorry for people that have uh, terrible internet. But you don't have to take part in every round. You can take part as you like. Obviously your overall score will suffer, but you just play however you feel is best. Whichever maps you enjoy, you might as well play. The points calculation is a little bit interesting. So it will be a thousand times the time of your cast is competitor divided by your time times 0.988 to the power of your position minus one. Basically meaning if you're in first place, you'll gain some extra points by being a lot faster than the second place. Everyone else below that, your position matters and you'll get more points for a better position. But even if you don't gain a position, every millisecond counts for points. Depending on how long the track is, points happen and points are actually decimalised. Uh, they won't show up as decimalised, I don't believe, in the score. But just in case there is a tie, they are decimalised somewhat. Uh, which is great, so there won't be a tie. Going back to servers. Uh, the servers will be listed, link on screen now or in the description. This year, we're going to be taking donations. If you can donate, please do. It really helps cover the server costs. And if we get enough donations, we open up more servers for less lag, for more players, for wider ranges. We managed to get a Brazilian server last year, which was absolutely incredible, along with the Australian servers, multiple European servers in France and Germany and everything so that everyone's different, strange, rooting internet meant they had the best possible way to play. If you are also able to provide a server, please do contact the admins, Discord, IRC, in-game, whatever. Uh, it would be wonderful if we could get some really, really quality servers in a lot of good places because we had a lot of really good players from every continent last year and it'd be great to see everybody able to play on pretty good ping. Now on to the important part, which is the schedule. Each round is going to start at 2100 UTC. Go over to the link on screen uh, for the schedule and it will have the map starting. Also has it on the main page of the xdwc.tykisma.info. First round is going to be starting October the 8th, which is a Sunday. That map is by the wonderful Ash and will run until the 15th. Then from the 15th to the 22nd, we have round two, a map by Miro and Ash. 22nd to the 29th, we have round three by Ash. 29th to the 5th uh, of November, that is made by Kool-Aid, round four. And from the 5th of November to the 12th of November, we have map five made by Ash. Ash has done an absolutely incredible job this year, cracking out uh, as many maps as he has Thank you to Miro and Kool-Aid as well, but seriously, seriously, seriously from me. Thank you, Ash. You've basically made XDWC happen uh, because it is the maps that mean we can have this tournament. It wouldn't be a world championship if the maps were already known about. 
So that is just about everything. Check out the description, check out the links. Uh, if you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments, ask me in game, whatever. Hopefully, we'll be able to find out some answers for you. Um, yeah, the description will be that kind of updating description if anybody gives me something else that I need to link to. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in game across the uh, next few weeks on the relaxed running and HP servers. And hopefully we will have a very, very good XGWC. As always, I'll be doing uh, map guides for every map as soon as they come out. And reviews and all of that stuff. We'll see what we get up to. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in game.